Okay, so in this last segment of 1.3, we'll be talking about De Morgan's laws, and then we will do a few exercises. Right? Uh, De Morgan's laws have to do with negating an and statement and negating an or statement. Okay, so uh, a diagram, we call these diagrams Venn diagrams. These will be very helpful. Imagine somebody says he is either a singer or an athlete. Okay, now we have a two set of people represented in this description as the singers okay a set of singers and a set of athletes okay now when you have these two groups defined in this way you know uh, we have singers and we have athletes okay now these could be overlapping right because we have some people who are both singers and athletes okay these are singer athletes athletes who sing or singers who play sports, whatever, okay? So we have these people in both. We have also people who are singers, but not athletes, that's here. We have people who are athletes, but not singers. We have people who are both, and we have people who are neither, okay? So uh, typically, anytime you have two possibly intersecting groups, those will define four categories of people, okay? Um, people who are only in the first, people who are only in second, people who are both, and people who are neither. Okay, so um, the statement is saying he's either a singer or an athlete. Okay, so this is the entire population or the entire humankind. And uh, people who are singers or athlete, they belong to, uh, it's hard to see this color, isn't it? People who are singers or athletes, that's, uh, disjunction. So that's what I just shaded are those people who are either a singer or an athlete. Okay. Now, if you want to negate this, how do you negate this? Well, we'll come back to that. Let me draw this another one. The second one says he is both a singer. Oops, I should use that. He is both a, a single singer and an athlete. These are talented people who can sing and play sports, maybe at the same time. Uh, he's both a singer and an athlete. Okay. Now we are talking about a very restricted uh, group of people that's here, the okay. intersection of these two groups of people. And so it's not either a singer or an athlete. It has to be a both singer and an athlete, right? So what is the negation of this? All right, so let's talk about uh, what the negations are. If you are talking about these people. Okay, so either a singer or an athlete. That would be P and Q, right? If you're talking about P as singers and Q as athletes, okay? Uh, P or Q is exactly what I'm talking about. He is either a singer or an athlete. The negation of this would be what? Okay, and we're talking about all these people outside of this. Okay, so how do you describe all these people outside, right? You know, here. Okay, these are the people who are not singers and they are also not athletes, right? So these are the people who are not singers and they cannot be athletes either, okay? So I will uh, write this down in just a few seconds in English, but it, what's important to know is that negation of P or Q is the negation of P and the negation of Q. Okay, how about this second uh, example? He's both a singer and an athlete. That's very exclusive. The negation of this would be everybody who is not in the intersection of both. So that would be all of these people who are outside of the innermost uh, circle where the two circles are intersecting. Okay, so the what I'm trying to describe is the negation of P and Q. Remember, P and Q is only this area of intersection. Everybody else is outside of it. Everybody else is in the group not P and Q. You can tell that in order for you to be outside of this innermost circle, uh, you either have to be uh, not a singer or you have to be not an athlete, okay? So the negation of P and Q happens to be a negation of P or 
the negation of Q. Notice the negation of an and statement is act, uh, negation of the or statement is actually an and statement. And the negation of an and statement turns out to be an or statement. All right, let me summarize all of these. And I'm going to type up what I'm going to say. Okay, so that we can summarize these ideas. Okay, so uh, going back to the first diagram, we are trying to describe somebody who is the opposite of either a singer or an athlete. Okay, so the negation of either a singer and an, or an athlete uh, means that he is neither a singer nor an athlete. Okay, so that means he is not a singer and not an athlete. It has to be connected by the word and, okay? So the negation of P or Q is the negation of P and the negation of Q. The second diagram says that um, if you are trying to describe everybody except for these people who are both singers and athletes, okay, then that means he is Okay, so let me write this down. It is not true that he is both a singer and an athlete. Okay, so what that means is either he is not a singer or he is not an athlete. Okay, and so the negation of P and Q is the negation of P or the negation of Q. It's either he's not a singer, either he's a non-singer or he's a non-athlete, okay? Or both, okay? That would cover all of these people um, not in the uh, intersection of the two groups. Okay, we'll conclude with these three exercises. Let's go ahead and apply what we just learned. Reagan and Bush were both presidents. That turns out to be a true statement, but if you're trying to negate this, remember this is an and statement. It says Reagan, was a president and Bush was also a president. The negation would be right here. Okay, so it's either Reagan was not a president or Bush was not a president. Okay, so again, the uh, negation of a both statement and statement would be an or statement or was it's possible that neither of them would be a president. That would be okay too. All right, the second one, either it is raining or it's cloudy right now, or very cloudy right now. So you can see that uh, it's an or statement and the negation of an or statement is an and statement where each side is negative. So what is the negation of either it is raining or it's very cloudy now? Uh, the answer, it is, uh, it is, not raining and it is not very cloudy. Okay. It is not raining and it's not really uh, not very cloudy now. So the uh, negation would be an and statement as you see here in this first diagram. Okay, number three, if Chicharito's uh, scores, by the way, he's a soccer player, um, famous, and good soccer player, uh, as some of you know, the galaxy will win. If Chicharito, Chicharito scores, then the galaxy would win. That is an if then statement. What, how do you negate the if then statement? Do you remember? The negation of uh, if A then B is A and not B. I think it makes sense in a context of a soccer game. The negation of this is to, to show uh, that this sentence is not correct. Uh, the claim is, you know what, if he scores, the Galaxy will win. The only way to disprove that statement is Chicharito scores and the Galaxy still will not win. If this happens, the first claim will be proved false. Okay, so this is the um, negation correct negation of this if then statement. All right, notice here, I don't use the word if in negating 
a if then statement. All right, it is time for you to try these quiz questions for section 1.3. Once you think you have the right answers, uh, you will see the uh, identical questions on your online quiz for section 1.3. That will give you immediate, immediate feedback on, uh, in Canvas. And then you can look at the answers um, for quiz for section 1.3 in your uh, Canvas page on section 1.3. You can correct yourself uh, and you can go ahead and do a second attempt at this quiz if you missed any on the first trial. Remember, you have up to three attempts and only the highest score will be recorded on, on my uh, grade book. So go ahead and try that and then you can do your homework for section 1.3 and that will help you master this section. All right, I know 1.3 is a pretty challenging section, right? Uh, you may have to watch a part uh, of the video a couple of times, but make sure you master these concepts, right? So you can do well in the following section. All right, have a great day and I'll see you later.